Have you ever seen a game on Roblox that looks like a masterpiece? Insane graphics, smooth animations, detailed environments. But when you check the player count, it's completely dead? Meanwhile, some random low effort game is pulling in millions of players and making bank. Yeah, there's a reason for that. And if you don't understand it, your game will probably flop too. First, most devs think that quality on Roblox means high-end graphics, complex mechanics, and hours of polished animations. But on Roblox, that's not what quality means. The real definition of quality? Fun, retention, addictiveness. A game that people can play over and over without getting bored. If your game isn't fun, it doesn't matter how good it looks visually. No one's going to play it. That's why you see games like Brookhaven and Bee Swarm Simulator thriving. They're not the most graphically advanced, but they understand what players want. Simple gameplay loops, easy to understand mechanics, and a reason to come back every day. So why do quote unquote perfect games fail? I've seen it happen over and over. A developer spends months, sometimes years, making their dream game. They pour everything into it. Custom combat systems, hyper detailed maps, every asset handcrafted from scratch. And when they finally release it, nothing happens. Nobody plays. The game sits at zero to two active players. Maybe a few of their dev friends check it out, but it never takes off. Why? Because they built what they wanted, not what the players wanted. They were making a game for themselves, not for the market. Understand, if you don't build with the market in mind, the market will ignore you. That's the harsh truth. So third, let me tell you why I always say make simple games first. It's not just because it's easier when you're a beginner. It's because it's the most pragmatically effective way to grow. When we worked on the classic successes in Jimmy Games, we weren't making the most polished, AAA quality experiences. I admit it, we were making mean games. Stupid, funny, quick to make games that people actually wanted to play. And like those games or not, they got over 40 million visits. And that's not luck. That's because we focused on what the players actually wanted. We made games about memes that were popular. We made the games fun and enjoyable. We added progression mechanics to the game so people had things to work for. It's the same reason why seemingly low effort tycoons, obbies, and simulators always perform well. They give players quick rewards, they're easy to understand, and they don't require a 12 minute tutorial just to get started. Bottom line, they make a fun game. So four, the problem with idealism. Look, most devs are far too idealistic when they start out. They're thinking like an artist, not a game developer. They believe that if they just make their passion project good enough, it will naturally attract players. But that is not how Roblox works. You need to think pragmatically. You need to think like a business owner. If nobody's searching for the type of game you're making, how will they find it? If your game isn't easy to pick up in 30 seconds, why would they stay? If your game doesn't have something to keep players coming back, why wouldn't they just go play something else? So I know you're asking, what should I do instead? And I'll tell you right now, if you want players, just stop overcomplicating things. Here's what I tell every dev who asks me how to get players on Roblox. First, start simple. Your first games should be easy to make and easy to play. If you can't get 50 to 100 players on a simple game, how do you expect to get thousands on a complicated one? Second, study successful games. Look at what's trending, not just to copy, but to learn. Why do these games get so many players? What's keeping them hooked? Third, launch early and improve later. Here's a secret. Your game does not have to be perfect at launch. The biggest games on Roblox weren't perfect when they started. 
They released an MVP, a minimum viable product, the most bare bones, basic version of their game that works and is fun. Then they updated the game over time based on player feedback. Four, make something that people actually want. Stop making the game you think is cool and make the game that players will enjoy playing. So, you now have two choices. You can keep chasing perfection and build games that nobody plays, or you can start thinking pragmatically, focus on what players want, and actually build something that succeeds. The choice is yours. Now, drop a comment. What's the biggest mistake you've made in game development? Let's talk about it. And click the video on screen now to learn why you just can't seem to learn scripting no matter what you do and the method you need to fix it.